If you're tossing up between the Infrared Max 2021 or the Juve Solo 3.0 Red Light Therapy Panel, then this video is for you. Hi guys, Alex here from alexfocus.com and behind me I have the Infrared Max. This is the Infrared Max 2021. It is, I know we're in 2022, but this is the latest uh, version as of the time of filming. And next to it, we have the Juve Solo Generation 3, the third gen Juve panel. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video is compare the two of these panels. I'm gonna compare them across a range of metrics such as uh, power output, LED count, wavelengths, price, shipping, warranty, ease of use, advanced features, all those cool things. Now, um, if you want to see the ultimate comparison between not only these two panels, but 12 red light therapy panels in the market, I'll put a link to my 2021 red light therapy comparison series where I do compare all of those panels, 12 panels, uh, across all sorts of metrics. It's rather uh, a comprehensive video. But in this video, what we're gonna do is just compare these two head to head. So let's get into it. All right, so before we get into the comparison, let's do a bit of a background check on each of these uh, companies and the panel. So the Juve Solo here, this is the third gen panel from Juve. Juve being probably the most well-known red light therapy company. They have been around for a long time and they also have quite a, long, uh, quite a large presence online through uh, sponsorships, media, marketing, and whatnot. Third generation panel does incorporate some new bells and whistles that were reasonably new to the market um, and especially new to the Juve product line. Very expensive and we will get to that later. So you are paying a price for some of those advanced features and also that uh, brand recognition. Over here, we have the Infrared Max. I was tempted to say they're a new company, but they're not. They have been around for a few years now. Uh, they've got a wide range of products, uh, smaller ones, larger ones. Um, surprisingly well built, this panel is, uh, and well priced as well. So it may not have the advanced bells and whistles that say a Juve panel does, but when you boil it down to the basics, it does really good. So. One thing I should mention, I, I did talk about my 2021 comparison series with 12 panels in it. Juve, this Juve Solo placed seventh out of 12, so not too good there. And the Infrared Max actually came in in third place. Uh, first place, first and second were your, uh, your Mito Red and your Biomaxes. So Infrared Max was um, quite a surprise. And I remember when I was filming it, I, I was quite surprised how well they did. First up, we're gonna look at price. The Juve Solo Gen 3 retails for $1,499. At least it does at the time of filming. I say that because when I did the comparison six months ago, I think they were selling it for about $1,300. So it's already gone up one or $200 since then, which is crazy. It's even more crazy because they're already expensive panels. And on top of that, that price I just mentioned doesn't include taxes. So once you add the Juve panel to your shopping cart, you get to the checkout screen, you put your address in, boom, you get hit with another, you know, 100 for 50 to 100 dollars depending on where you're located. So, we're just going to go with 1500 dollars now for the price. Uh, I don't have a discount code for Juve, so unfortunately I can't help you with that price either. In Fruity Max, they sell their panel uh, for 899, I believe it is. 899 dollars. So it's a huge difference. Even better than that, that price includes your taxes, uh, and I have a discount code. Discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will save you, I think it's 10%, yeah, 10%. So it brings it down to about $810. So let's crunch the numbers. $1,500 over here for the Juve. You can get this one here for $800, nearly half the price. So right from the start, we can see that the Infrared has a big advantage here. You could almost get two of these for the price of one of these. Next up, let's look at shipping. So Juve, to get that shipped to your address, if you live in America, you're paying about $90. I put a few addresses in, worked out to be $80, $90 to your door in America. So $1,500 plus your $90 shipping plus your taxes, it starts getting up there, right? With the Infrared, they even do free international shipping. So it's quite an advantage here, uh, not just from the price point of view, but also shipping. So if you live in America, Canada, or Australia, for instance, the Infrared is gonna be free to get it shipped to your door. The Juve, you're gonna pay anything from say $80 to $150. So after two head to head comparison rounds, Infrared is doing rather well here. Next up, let's look at the warranty. So the Juve panel with this, you're getting a two year warranty period. Infrared, three years. Again, Infrared gets the point here. I, I'm, quite, I'm quite surprised by that because Juve have been around for some time. So you think that, you know, have that three year warranty period like most companies have in the red light therapy space. Whereas Infrared, the newer players, 
with uh, with the three-year period. So, look, if you're worried about spending a thousand odd bucks and you want to make sure that if if anything goes wrong, you know you're going to be looked after. Two years is still good, but three years is better. All right, now we'll look at the LEDs. I'm going to turn both of these panels on so you can see them running. So as you can see, these are red light devices. They are putting out 660 nanometer light and also 850 nanometer light. So you can't see the 850 nanometers. That's where there's the, the gaps and you might be able to see the patterns. Um, both of these panels are operating at 660 nanometers, which I just men mentioned, and the 850 nanometers. You don't get any advanced uh, multi-wave LEDs in these panels, it's just your basic 660 and 850. Not that that's a bad thing, some people want just 660 and 850, uh, but there are other panels out there that are putting out, you know, your 810s, your 630s, your 610s as well. So there's no real difference on a wavelength point of view, but there are some unique differences which I'll get to soon. Next up, we'll talk about size and LED count. Now, physically, when you look at them, they're both pretty similar in terms of physical size. However, the Infrared Max has a lot more LEDs. There's 210 LEDs in this panel. There's 150 in the Juve. Again, that's quite surprising because you're paying a lot more for this panel, but you're getting more LEDs in the cheaper panel. Now, both of these panels utilize the same wavelengths. However, the Juve does have a minor advantage here that it does offer pulsing. Now, the pulsing is in 10 hertz and it is only for the 850 nanometer light. There's a button on the side here, you tap that, it'll pulse the near infrared light. You can't see it, it's pulsing at 10, uh, 10 times a second, and like I said, it's the invisible near infrared light. But there are some, or oh, there is some evidence showing that the pulsed light can help with recovery. Uh, it's still something that needs, uh, personally I think needs a little bit more investigation. Some companies are starting to incorporate pulsing into their panels. We saw it in the 2021 comparison series. If a panel has it, great. I think it's good that it does have it because you can experiment with it and try it. Uh, whereas if the panel doesn't offer that function, then hey, you, you can't even see if it works for you, right? So, so we finally have an advantage to Juve. Juve offers pulsing, infrared doesn't. Next up, we're gonna look at irradiance or power output. Now I've done lots of videos on how I test for this and what it means, so I don't wanna get into it here. Instead, I've got the numbers. The peak power, which is the highest power I found, Juve had a peak power of 74 milliwatts over centimeter squared, Infrared Max 76.8. That means you're getting more power from this panel compared to the Juve. I also did an average of nine, nine points. The Infrared came out to be 65 milliwatts, the Juve 59. And then I did a total wattage output calculation where I take those figures and I look at the treatment area, the size, do a comparison. And the figure you get here is the amount of therapeutic red light you're getting from the panel. The infrared, 97 and a half watts, the Juve, 85 watts. So what does that mean? It means you're getting more power, you're getting more therapeutic light from this panel, the infrared panel, than you are from the Juve. I need to mention that the numbers from the Juve are good. They're not, it's not a low powered panel by any stretch of the imagination, especially when you compare it to some of the old panels. So you're still gonna get plenty of red light over here with the Juve. It's just that you're getting more with them for Eddie. Now that we know these figures, we can do some value calculations. Now, this was really good when I was comparing lots of panels and especially panels that were different sizes and whatnot. Because we're, we already know the power output and we know the price, this comparison is a little bit redundant, but it is interesting, so I'm gonna throw it in. So the dollar per LED figure, Juve, you're spending $10 to get one LED over here. With the infrared, you're spending $3.85 to get one LED, which is exceptional value. In fact, it's one of the best values uh, that I've tested. So you're nearly paying three times the price per LED over here for the Juve. Next up, we have a dollar per watt output. Now this is how many dollars it costs you to get one watt of red light. The Juve had a figure of $17.60, the infrared $8.30. So again, we already knew that was gonna be the outcome because we have seen the power levels, this has got more LEDs, and we've also looked at price. But when you actually break it down like that and you get a direct head-to-head, -head, it's quite interesting that, um, that there is such a large difference. All right, what else do you need to know about these panels? We've looked at price, we've looked at shipping, we've looked at power output. What about EMF? Well, the Infrared Max 
was really good. In fact, it was, it was rock bottom and, and all my six inch tests. The Juve, unfortunately, had quite a bad electric reading. Now, I've done a video on this as to why this is the case. I received a comment not long ago, someone saying that they've, they think Juve have actually fixed this problem. I got this panel when it first came out a year or so ago, so they very well may have, and to be honest, they'd be silly not to fix it because it is an easy fix. So, this comparison may be uh, outdated, but based on the panels I have, the Juve panel is putting out, let's say, a concerning amount of EMF in the electric field. Infrared, nothing. Okay, what about expansion? Both of these panels support modular capability. If you want to get another infrared, you can clip it on top or beneath it and you have a extra high panel set up. Likewise with the Juve, you can clip them uh, higher on the side, you can get all their stands and accessories. Um, so that is good to know. If you want to buy one now and then add to, add, add to that later on, you know, six months time, you get a bit of extra cash. You can do that with both panels, which is great. What about accessories and stands? Well, with the Infrared Max, it comes with a door hook and clips for the top, so you can hang it, say, from a bracket or the back of your door. Uh, you can get a floor boot for this or a floor stand. It's $100 extra. Juve, on the other hand, it comes with a floor boot. However, as you notice, it's smooth up the top, so you actually can't hang it from a hook. Usually when I do these reviews, I hang them from these hooks up here, uh, and it's, it makes it nice and easy, but I can't do that with the Juve, and that's why I've got it sitting on this little table. If you want to get a wall mount, you have to pay $300 extra, which is insane, given that every panel I've tested, except for Juve, has these little brackets on the top. You just screw like the metal wire onto it, and there you go, you can hang it. To do that with Juve, you gotta go off and spend $300, and you already spent a lot of money, so it's a bit of a blow. To get a door mount, it's $250 extra. Remember, the door mount comes with them, Freddy. Interesting, huh? I think that's everything. Well, at least on the main things. If you wanna take an even deeper dive into any of these panels, I have done dedicated reviews on both the Juve and the Infrared Max, so I'll put links to them below. You can go off and, and watch that in full. I talk about ease of use, setup, operations, uh, what comes in the box, all that sort of stuff. But if you were interested in buying the Juve or the Infrared and you didn't know which one to get, hopefully this video has at least informed you enough to make a, a decision. And in all honesty, it's kind of hard to beat the Infrared Max when you're looking at the Juve. Really, the only thing Juve has going for it is the pulsed, uh, the pulsed wavelength. Actually, I should mention, and, and I, I, I do apologize, I should have mentioned this earlier. Juve does have a nicer control panel. I didn't actually talk about this, so I do, let's look, look at it now. The Infrared Max, rather basic control panel. It does come with a little remote here, which is handy. Uh, but there's, there's nothing, I mean it works, it does everything you need, right? Juve over here, likewise, it works really good. However, you can sync it up with your phone and use the Juve app and you can unlock a few more advanced fun functions such as uh, dimming, uh, beep timers, and of course the pulsing um, functionality. So that isn't the case in Infrared. So yes, Ju the Juve control system, let's say is more advanced and probably nicer to use as well. The buttons are just nicer. So hey, I'll give you that as well, Juve. But that aside, really the only thing Juve has going is going for it against the Infrared Max is the fact that it's got the pulsed wavelength, um, 810 wavelength. Otherwise, you're spending a lot more money. You gotta pay extra shipping and taxes. You gotta pay a lot more for stands. If you wanna hang it on a, on a wall or door, you gotta pay a couple hundred dollars extra. There is a concern with the EMF levels there. The power, power output is good, but infrared is better. Um, you're getting more power and more LEDs in the infrared. Size wise, they're very similar, though the Juve is lighter. It is a plastic design. This, this uh, infrared max is metal. Some people, most people uh, aren't too worried about that because once it's set up on the wall, that's it, they're not moving around. But hey, the Juve does have the plastic design, making it a little bit lighter. So maybe that is good if you intend on moving a lot um, or you're a little bit older. So it's something to go for as well. Now remember, you could go out and get two of these, two of them for any maxes. If you use discount code Alex, you save your five or 10%. Two of them ship to your door anywhere in the world for say $1,600, right? Meanwhile, it's gonna cost you $1,600 to get one Juve shipped to your door. You see the difference? I mean, sure, you can get some pulsing, but you're getting more LEDs, more power, and you're getting two of them for the same price. 
I need to mention I am affiliated with Infrared. I'm also affiliated with every red light therapy company out there except for Juve. Uh, Juve have an exclusive policy where you can only be affiliated with them. I ideally wanted to be affiliated with everyone and just tell people who's the best was. Um, so anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, I do get a commission if you buy the Infrared. I don't if you buy, if you buy the Juve. You get a discount if you use my code. There is no discount for Juve. Keep that in mind, I guess. Uh, you may think that may influence my, my videos and my, my thoughts here, but really when you stop and you look at things and you look at the price, you look at the power, you look at the EMF, look at shipping costs and stuff like that, it really is, Infrared really is the better option here. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like, be sure to hit subscribe, but also check out some of my other videos. I've compared the Juve to a Biomax, to a Mito Red. I'm also going to compare the Juve to a lot more panels uh, coming up this year. So be sure to hit subscribe with that. Infrared, I've done a dedicated review on this. I've included it in my 2021 comparison video. If you are shopping for a red light therapy panel, I highly recommend checking out that. I should also note, I'm filming this in June 2022. I know Infrared are working on some updated panels. I don't know when they'll be out, maybe later this year. So hey, by the time this goes out, there may already be a new panel out there. Once they're out, I'll get my hands on them. I'll do a comparison between the 2021 version and the new version. And hey, I might even do some uh, more head to heads like this. So hit subscribe, leave any questions or comments, and I will see you soon. Bye.